Hey guys, Benny here with Beauty by Benny. Welcome back to my channel. Today's look features blue glitter on the eyes and a nude glossy lip. This is going to be a full face tutorial from start to finish, so I'll be sharing some new products and contouring techniques. I will also share how I fill in my brows and of course how to apply glitter without any fallout or mess. Please remember to like and hit the subscribe button for more tutorials and let's begin. So lately I've been using a cleanser, toner, and moisturizer by True Self Organics and I have to say this stuff is amazing. I can really see a difference in my skin. Next I'm using Krylon's Dermacolor Foundation in D64 as my highlight color. You can purchase Krylon products on their website at krylon.com. I like to highlight under my eyes, on the center of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose and frown lines, under the hollows of my cheeks, and a little on my chin and lips. I also prefer to use synthetic brushes when I apply my highlight and contour shades. My all-time favorite synthetic brushes are by Real Techniques. These ones with the taped on pink handles are good Real Technique dupes from Yes4.com, but unfortunately their handles break off too easily. Okay, so for a bronzy glow, I'm using another Kryolan shade in D13, and I'm going to apply this on all the areas that I normally contour, but this is going to give me more of that tan JLo glow. And for a deeper contour, I'm applying the darkest shade from my Krylon wheel into the hollows of my cheeks, the hairline of my forehead, my temples, down the sides of my nose, and underneath my jawline. And then I blended everything out in small circular motions using a Real Techniques buffing brush. Next I'm using Ben Nye's Banana Powder and a powder puff to set all the highlighted areas into place. Since I have dry skin, I dust it off immediately using a large powder brush. If your skin is oily, you can leave it on longer for a few more minutes to let it absorb better. To set the rest of my face, I use Max Loose Powder in NC40. Just press it on and get rid of any excess shine. And to darken my contouring a bit more, I use Max Blunt and a Real Techniques contour brush. Moving on to brows, I first brush them out using a spoolie and then I'm filling them in using a brow pencil. My favorite brow products are the Brow Wiz and the Brow Duo powders from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but those were in a different kit so I used another one of my favorite brow pencils which is by MAC in the color Spiked. I just fill in the gaps following the direction of my natural hair growth. I don't like tracing dark lines around the edges of my brows and I avoid filling them in too much on the inner brow. Then I brush them out again once more with a spoolie for a more natural look. This is a grease paint stick by MAC called Slick Black. I love this product but I think it's discontinued now. You can use a gel liner or a cream shadow or just a regular black eye pencil instead. I'm applying this over my lids but I'm keeping it under my crease. I blended out the creamy pencil using a synthetic shadow brush by e.l.f. Cosmetics. After that, I used a small shadow brush to blend the edges of the cream slightly into my crease. Next, I'm setting the cream with a black eyeshadow. The one that I'm using is Carbon by MAC. The reason why I hardly ever get fallout is because I tap off my brush a few times before applying eyeshadow. If you generally tend to have a lot of fallout, try that out, or you could just do your eye makeup first and then your foundation routine. For my transition color, I'm using an orangey brown shade by MAC called Brown Script. I'm first applying this to the edges of the shadow using a smaller, more precise brush. And then after that, I use my MAC 217 brush to soften the shadow and make it look more blended. Now I'm lining my waterline using MAC Feline Eye Pencil and I'm going to be a bit messy with this and get some on my lash line as well. This is going to make the shadow on my lower lid glide on and blend more easily. This is a dark brown eyeshadow by MAC called Foley and I'm using a MAC pencil brush to apply this onto my lower lid and to blend it out. 
Now you don't have to blend it out as far as I did, I just like that extra smoky effect. This would also look pretty without any eyeshadow on the lower lid and with just the eye pencil in the waterline and mascara. Here I'm using MAC's Floof Eyeshadow and an angled brush to trace a thin line of this shadow right under the arch of my brows. Try to keep this line as thin as possible. I love doing this because it's a really subtle way to highlight your brows and it looks great in pictures or when light hits the brow bone. For my lashes, I used Coco Lashes in Foxy. I'm also going to apply glitter to the lid. I'm mixing a grayish glitter with a blue one to customize the color. But before I do that, I want to add some bronzer to my skin. This one is by Victoria's Secret. I don't remember the name of this one, guys, and it rubbed off, but any bronzer works. And then I mixed a mauve blush and Max Gingerly blush and applied them to the apples of my cheeks. Since the eyes are so bold, I'm going to keep the lips pretty simple. I first line my lips using MAC Mahogany Lip Pencil. This is probably my favorite lip pencil at the moment. It works great as a base, especially for medium to dark skin tones. I filled in my lips using MAC Honey Love Lipstick and a lip brush. I take the lipstick over the lip liner so that it looks more blended and the liner isn't so harsh. And lastly, I topped off the lips with a MAC lip gloss called Wildly Lush. Any nude lip gloss will work. I'm just going to finish the skin and do the glitter last. My favorite highlighter at the moment is a MAC pigment called Melon. I'm obsessed with this product. It gives your skin the most beautiful glow. I'm using a fan brush to apply this onto the high points of my cheekbones and a bit on my nose. You can see how it gives my skin that perfect glowy finish without looking shimmery. Okay, back to the glitter. I first mixed these two glitters onto a mixing palette, and then I added a few drops of a mixing medium called ID Weather Everything. It's a liner sealer. I used it in my last glitter tutorial as well, and unfortunately it is discontinued, but any liner sealer will work. ELF makes a good one, and Sally's Beauty Supply has an awesome glitter gel for only a dollar. They all work great. The trick is to make sure that all the glitter gets picked up in the gel or the sealer and you tap off any excess glitter before applying it to your lid. It's best to use a synthetic brush because it will make the mixing medium glide on more easily and you have to let your lids dry completely before fully opening your eyes. Otherwise, the glitter will crease and it will get all over the place. So wait a good five minutes before opening your eyes all the way. And that's it, guys. It's a really glamorous look and I love that it's so easy to do. If you like glitter eye makeup, please check out the description box for links to other looks I've done using silver, gold, and purple glitter. For my hair, I use my custom colored clip-in ombre extensions from Eva Wigs and their info is in the description box as well. Thank you so much for watching and for your wonderful comments, love, and support. Please remember to click the subscribe button and like this video. It really helps me out. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Love you all. Take care. Mwah.